Hi everybody, this is Shawnee here with Making Everyday Magic. Um, I actually just had a very exciting Amazon delivery and it is a storage box for our Matthew C blocks. And I figured since I was gonna be pulling them out and getting them all organized and put together anyway, that I would share how we are using Matthew C in our third grade and honestly how we use it for our second grade. Um, as you know, Matthew C is included in the Timber Doodle curriculum kits and I've got links below. I'm gonna show you how I'm storing them. I will also include the link to the storage box that we got. So while I'm doing this, I figured I would just bring you along. Before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications and give this video a thumbs up. If you would like to see more of this kind of stuff, this um, kind of in-depth curriculum flip through, please let me know and I will be happy to share what we've got. Hey guys, this is our Gamma Level Matthew C math curriculum for our third grade year. So we actually do math. I mean, technically math is five days a week, uh, but one week is a wrap up. The other four days are this curriculum. Now, this integer set, I conveniently did not have to purchase again in our curriculum kit. I was able to uh, just kind of get this like expansion pack, I guess. So I didn't, I wasn't out the money for this and I was able to swap that in our, um, in our curriculum kit. So that's so handy that Timber Doodle gives you the option to do that. Now, let me tell you, the math you see people, they've really thought this out, guys. This video um, is recordings of a math teacher, math professor, going over every single lesson. So the fact that I don't have to do that and I just supplement is amazing. In every lesson here, the man uses these exact blocks that they have made for their curriculum. And I think that there is just such a certain level of continuity that comes from seeing the exact blocks being used on the screen. There's no disconnect between what they're using and what we're using. It's the same thing. So we see it here and then we go here and we can build it and touch it ourselves. And it's in our textbooks as well. Now this is inside the in integer kit here. And um, there are some things that come with it. Like this was helping us figure out place value. I have thrown in here a dry erase board because it greatly helps when you're mapping out some of those uh, math problems and things. Um, and then this is the in integer kit. Oh, this is my dry erase margin. So my kids really like to play with these, which is super fun. Uh, but I just got this kit container. So I'm gonna get them set up in here and I figured since I was doing that, I'll just film, uh, let you guys know how I feel about it. So Matthew C is amazing. I really like that it comes with, again, the curriculum specific counters. I just cannot say enough amazing things about those. There's also, um, it will come with an online code that you can plug in and get some more like songs and uh, like skip counting songs, coloring sheets. There's just, there's a lot more things online as well. So our DVD of our lessons, which align absolutely perfectly with the lessons in the book. Um, so this is the teacher's guide, which I haven't actually used much because we have the DVD. Now, Matthew C has in their uh, student workbook, every week there are seven front and back worksheets. Guys, we do, we will do the math lesson on Monday, just the lesson, just learning it, talking about it, making sure she understands it. Maybe one or two practice problems. That's what we do on Monday. So then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, she does worksheets, but I do not make her do all seven worksheets. What we'll do on Tuesday is she will do, um, like, so this is week 10, the A worksheet from the 10th lesson. So I will have her do the front and the back on her own. She can ask questions, absolutely. 
If she gets them all right, then we skip B and we go to C. So then the next day she'll do C and she does C front and back. Now the first few of these, I think it's A through D are specific to this week's lesson, but then if she gets all of C right, then she can move on. If she doesn't, then we may, we may need to do the other worksheets for a bit more practice. It's not a big deal. We'll just go back over those, maybe do some more together until she's mastered it and then we can move on. Now, once you get to D, it's systemic review. So this reviews everything they've had up till now. So if we do C, then we usually skip D, but we do E and that goes back and covers those things that were already covered. In my opinion, come Thursday when she's doing this sheet, this is like a test in my opinion because she's doing them on her own and then we, you know, we check and we go back over anything that we need to. The curriculum does come with this book of tests. There is a test for the end of every single week. Because I am using the worksheets out of the student workbook, in my opinion, kind of like a test, expecting her to do them for the most part on her own and seeing how well she does, then I just don't feel like I need these lesson tests. I do, however, at the end of every so many chapters, there is a unit test. Oh, see, this is the first unit test. So this is unit test lessons one through six. I will give her this because it is a little bit of a, you know, more lengthy, um, you know, comprehensive, review. So we do do the unit tests. I do not do the every chapter test. We just don't. So as I said, Monday, we do our video lesson and make sure we understand. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we do every other worksheet of the seven. As I said, the first two are usually specific to that lesson with the last being a systemic review of things you've had up to that point. And then on Friday, she does one of the math wrap ups, which is a different product. That is how we use math you see. For now, this works really well for us. It doesn't bog anyone down with just too much. I genuinely think if we were doing all seven front and back worksheets plus a front and back test every week. This is, I mean, too much. And I understand that the math you see program is mastery based and not a spiral based program. The way the curriculum is set up, they want you to fully understand it before you've moved on instead of giving you a piece and then coming back later and giving you a bigger piece of it. And then a little later, a bigger piece of it. I understand it's about mastery. And if I at any point feel like we need that extra for the mastery, I'll definitely go back, but I don't feel that way now. Now, let's see if my blocks fit in my box. Okay, it is nice. And I can come in and label it too. Woo woo. All right, uh, the hundreds are gonna have to go in the bottom because they're giant. I should probably make sure that that's still, does that still fold down? Ooh, it does, yay! That does fit, hopefully. I do love that this comes with this tray and like it's got them embossed in the bottom so you know which ones go where. That is kind of amazing. Okay, so they aren't in order and that's only gonna bother me a great deal. But we have ones, twos, threes, fours, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hundred blocks. And it folds up and locks. Whoop, whoop. So 
as I mentioned previously, the Matthew C curriculum we get with our Timber Doodle curriculum kits, our non-religious Timber Doodle curriculum kits. So if you found any of this helpful, um, informative or entertaining, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications. While you're down there, you can find the links to the products we've used today. Thanks so much.